there! I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and girlfriends, I am so excited that you're here with me today because all of us as we get older, we experience sagging skin. We experience that wonderful shock of looking in the mirror in the morning and going, what happened? Did my face fall in one night? I was really noticing that about six months ago. I was getting kind of heavy looking gels down here. I was looking liney. I was looking saggy. It was really kind of disappointing to me because I do pretty much everything right. I do Retin-A, actually I use the generic form, Tretinoin. I do a lot of different facial devices and that kind of thing, but I noticed that despite all that, I was really starting to sag. And I remembered that on my channel, I had a video maybe about two years ago about face yoga. And I had beautiful results with face yoga, and I will share some before and after pictures from that in just a few minutes, because over the last maybe six months, I have found two little very inexpensive things you can do at home to really firm the muscles of your skin. And I've mentioned them before on my channel, but I don't think I ever realized until just now, with, within the past week or two, what was really happening and why these devices are such major miracle workers. And the cool thing is both of the little devices together are under $100 and they take maybe five minutes to do each day. It's, it's unbelievably easy to do. And I really think it is giving me an instant facelift effect. And I'm so excited to share this with you. But before I get into that, I did want to show you the outfit that I'm wearing today. And the outfit and all the jewelry, except for the jeans, are from Amazon. I'm not sure. These are from Zara. If I can't find the exact same jeans, I will link something similar below, but I really like them. And on my feet, I have these fantastic dream pair of shoes. These are some of my favorites. And for those of you who follow my channel, you know I have a ton of dream pair of shoes because they're super comfortable and they're very stylish and they're very inexpensive. But I wear these shoes particularly when I have those long baggier pants because they're tall enough to look good with those longer pants and yet it doesn't feel like you have a huge heel on because of the wedge. And I really like this plastic strap and it is super comfortable. I'll link everything below. And if you're not yet a subscriber, I hope you'll join the 50 Plus Beauty family and I hope you'll get involved by making a comment. If you're there with me today, just say hi. I would love to see you in the comment section. And always when I do any of these videos, if you have good ideas for future videos or if you would like to share particular things that are working for you, I hope you'll list them in the comment section. Can't wait to read them. Okay, let's get into this. And for those of you who follow my channel, you know I'm mid-60s. Actually, I just turned 65 not too, not too long ago. And although I do do some things, like I have Botox that I use on my forehead, I've done that for many years, but amazingly enough, I've been able to stop using Botox around my eyes at all because I think the things that I'm doing are kind of firming up my skin and I don't feel the need for the Botox in that area anymore. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing some things with you that I think have really helped me to firm up my skin. And to begin with, let me show you a little picture of myself from a video about two years ago. And basically you can see me there. And as you can see, my skin looks okay. It doesn't look bad for my age, but it just looks kind of doughy and it really doesn't have a lot of good structure, a lot of good firmness at all. And when you look at my skin today, I think my skin looks quite a bit better. And actually six months, eight months ago, that was not the case at all. My skin had continued its decline from two years ago and it was really getting saggy. I was getting heavy jowls down here, which was really kind of upsetting to me. And I remembered that on my channel around two years ago that I had experimented with facial yoga and had excellent results. And let me show you the before and after pictures in terms of how that face yoga just 30 days firmed up my skin. Here I am on July 15th of 20 in the before picture. And as you can see, my face looks okay, but it just looks a little flubby is what I call it. It seems to lack a bit of firmness overall. And then in August of that same year, about 30 days later with 30 days of face yoga, my face just looks firmer overall. When you look in the cheek area in the after picture, my cheeks just look more sculpted and defined and even the gels look a lot better. And my heart-shaped face that I had years ago was starting to be unearthed again in that after picture. And the reason I think face yoga is so effective is that it basically exercises the muscles of our face. And when we do that, the muscles get tighter and that pulls in our skin, much like what happens when we do weight training. And I have done weight training for probably about four years. Look at those guns. I'm really proud of those. I'm really working hard lately. But to illustrate my point about firming of the skin, Again, let me show you a before and after picture of the back of my body when I'd been weight training for just six months. 
and here it is. As you can see in the before picture, I don't look bad, but as you can tell, nothing is really firm. It's just kind of there. And then in the after picture, the whole shape of my back has changed due to increased muscles. Like my shoulders are more well-defined. I have more of a cut in waist. My skin just looks firmer. And overall, I would say in the after picture, that looks like the picture of a younger physique. And that is exactly what happens to our face when we do face yoga. We improve those muscles, we strengthen those muscles, and that tightens and tones our skin. And really, six or eight months ago, when I was looking in the mirror and not being too happy, I thought maybe I should go back to the face yoga. But you guys, I just could not see myself doing that. Face yoga takes about 30 minutes every time you do it. I do a lot of other things. I know you all tend to think that all I do is these beauty procedures all the time, but really, I'm just like you. I have a busy life. I still work at least half days. I have a husband and my adult kids. I deal with them quite a lot. So I really don't have that much time to do these beauty procedures. And so what I did is I decided to go back to my facial flex, and I've made several videos on my channel about this little device. Basically, you just put it in your mouth. I'll show you, it's kind of ugly. But you put it in your mouth, and you're just kind of squeezing, squeezing, squeezing your lower lips together. And when you do that, you are strengthening these muscles right here, and also you are strengthening the neck. And that is one thing that I have noticed recently is that I think my neck, you know, although it still leaves a little to be desired for sure, it seems to be getting firmer. And I think it is this little facial flex device. And then about six months ago, I started using the jaw flex and you all have seen this before. And basically what it is, here it is. You just do it like this, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then I hold. And then to get the jowls with this area, I go down here and I go one, two, three, one, two, three one, two, three, and I do that 25 times each. And all together doing the facial flex takes a couple of minutes. This device takes a couple of minutes. So for less than five minutes, I do these exercises. And the reason I decided to do this video is those just look like inexpensive devices, which they are. I think they're $20 and maybe $49. The facial flex has increased in price recently. So you might tend to look at them and say, why do I need something like that? That just looks like a just looks like a gimmick from China or something like that. And when I first started using them, they had great reviews and I was a little bit skeptical myself. But the thing I have realized is that I really have started looking more toned. My neck looks better, my face looks better, my jowls have really come into line, and I give much of the credit to these two little easy devices. And finally, I have realized and I wanted to share this with you that the reason these two little items do such a good job is not because they're gimmicks. It is because they are working out the muscles of the face. It's kind of like you can do free weights at the gym or you can go work out on the weight machines. These little devices are kind of like face yoga or face exercises in a little tiny machine because what they are doing is that they are continually flexing the muscles of your face and releasing. Flex, release, flex, release. And with this little device, you can even increase the amount of tension just as you can in actual weight training. And let me know in the comment section if you agree with me that maybe my face seems a little firmer than it used to. And you know, I am 65 years old, so nothing is going to be perfect. But I really think that these two little devices together, not only do they firm up your face, but I think they help bring back youthful contours and give you the sensation and the look of possibly having had a facelift. And I think they are absolutely wonderful. And this video is not sponsored by either of these companies. They have no idea who I am. I think both of them are available on Amazon. This one is kind of hard to find. That's why when I do videos about this, sometimes I don't mention the facial flex because I know it's frustrating to you if this is out of stock and you can't find this. I wish this company would get it together a little more to consistently have the stock that they need because I think this product is wonderful and I think it works beautifully in tandem with this device, which is the Jaw Fit. Well, thank you for being here with me to look at how weight training can really benefit your face and do me a favor. If you order one or both of these devices, please you know, remove your makeup and take a before picture and then do this for four or six weeks and then take an after picture. And please email me if you get good results or negative results, I would absolutely love to see. And one thing I did want to mention is some of you in the comment section, you won't even try this because you think, oh, it's going to increase smoker's wrinkles because you're pursing your lips and pursing your lips. Well, if you're worried about smoker's wrinkles with this, 
As you're doing it, just put your finger along your top lip so that you can't be forming those wrinkles when you are pursing your lips. That's the way to handle that issue. Well, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And recently I have been embarking on a happiness project. I've been doing it now probably on and off since my birthday, which my birthday was in April, April, May, June, July, uh, maybe two and a half months. And it has really been helping me become happier on a daily basis. And very soon I would like to make a video about some of the wonderful happiness habits that I've been adapting that have really been helping. And if you'd like to see a video about some happiness hacks, I guess, then please let me know in the comment section below the video. But one of the things I've been thinking about is just something I learned in one of the books I was reading. I can't remember which one because I'm reading a ton of different books right now on happiness. But it just asked a simple question and it's a question I asked myself and I didn't really like the answer. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you the question because it just gives us all some food for thought. And the question is, we all talk to ourselves kind of continually in our minds. I don't know, they said something like 80,000 statements in a day or something like that. We're always just having this ongoing conversation to ourselves in our minds. Here is the question. If someone outside of you was saying those things about you to you, would you think they were a friend and would you want to be around them more? Or would you think, oh my gosh, I wouldn't let my worst enemy say that stuff to me. And would you shy away from that? Would you run as fast as you could to get away from those negative statements? And when I really asked myself that, I realized that quite a few of the things that I was saying to myself were really quite negative. Oh, Beth, you shouldn't have slept late. You should have done that workout. Oh gosh, what a stupid thing to say. Oh, I can't remember anything. I'm getting older. I'm having a senior moment, that kind of stuff. And not only was that stuff very negative and something I wouldn't allow someone else to say to me, I realized that through that negative habit of saying those negative statements, I was really hurting not just my good mood for the day, I was hurting my chances for success and happiness in the future. And since that realization, I've been doing quite a few things to kind of change my personality in that way from being someone who was kind of on the negative side, I'm trying to develop the habit of being more positive. And friends, let me know in the comment section if in your commentary that runs through your head, if you think the things you say to yourself are generally positive and uplifting, or if you think they could use a little tweaking and that they're on the negative side, please let me know that. And also, if you have any tips to boost your mood, please let me know that as well. And I can't wait to see you in my next video.